one of the popular buildings in Budapest called the St. Stephen's Basilica and it's one of the two tallest buildings here. Uh, this is one and the other one we're gonna visit today as well is the parliament. Uh, this one is like 89 meter long. I don't know but the, this one and the parliament are the only two buildings that can be that long because they represent when Budapest was built. And now we're gonna go inside and you can follow along with us. Okay, we went in and now we're going here and this is a really interesting statue it's called the fat policeman cute this statue the really famous statue the fat policeman and it says to bring luck if you rub his tummy you're gonna have luck and uh, you're not gonna get fat <laughs> <laughs> yes guy <laughs> That is like, oh, sorry, Turn right. sorry. This is the bike road. Uh, one thing that is really interesting because I've seen this in Macedonia is it's Sunday today and nothing is working. And as I told you, this is the National Museum, but it's closed. Uh, and I think that the parliament is closed today as well. I was not thinking about going inside though. So... But we're here, yeah. As I told you before, I was just gonna check and it's true. This is the Parliament building. So nice. Okay, I just checked my information because uh, it's my first time here in Budapest and I don't want to like say something that's not true. The parliament and the basilica are 96 meters long and they represent the beginning of Budapest that was discovered in 1896 and no other building can be as long as these two because it's a national, national treasure or something like that. But did you know that the parliament has 691 rooms? I would really want to know why 
and what the use of the rooms are and I would really like to know how the main room looks when, where they have their press conference and uh, where the politicians meet but that's not going to be something we can find out today because as I said it's closed and I don't even know if it's open for the public sometime it would be nice if you can go inside because I really love these old buildings the shore of the Duna River, Dunabe River, you can find this monument that is called Shoes on the Danube Bank and it gives remembrance of the 3,500 people, uh, 800 of them were Jews that were shot during the Aerocross terror. Um, the architects made like uh, shoes out of iron that are period appropriate just to show that the people were made to jump into the river to some of them save their lives but some of them had to die and this is you can feel the sad energy here it's a really a must see when you're in Budapest Hi, hungry girls in Budapest. We really got uh, recommended to try this uh, local pizza corner. Uh, the funny part here is that you can create your own pizza. You can choose what kind of dough you want. You can choose, it says here, you can choose the sauce. You can choose around five different toppings. And you can make the pizza how you want. And they were so nice because they're like, it's Sunday, maybe you don't want to make your own pizza, maybe you're tired. Uh, and there are pizzas that you can choose from on the menu. And the funny thing as well is that it's allowed to write on the walls. I have a pen and we're gonna do it. Um, the interior is really nice as well, retro, I really like it. And uh, for now the personnel is also really friendly and they want to help you with everything. Uh, talk to you later when the pizza arrives. As I told you, you can film, you can write on the walls, but uh, you even get some funny, interesting pens to do it. And there are a lot of paintings and things, so they put on some stairs because there is no place, and then they don't want to write on each other. Definitely a big recommend because I really love it. 